I am in the process of creating a fairy garden which started by finding tiny little bits of moss on the pavement around me on my walk and collecting all kinds of pods and ground cover and using little sticks and bits of gold string that I had lying about a toilet roll for a little house covered in brown paint and glitter and uh, logs that I found little popsicle sticks for a fence and I am enjoying this so much and I want to share with you what you can do with your children that was a masking tape um, holder that I've turned into a water wheel with marbles and acorn tops and created water with some cloth that I had left lying about uh, all kinds of things that I found around my garden a little bit of shiny mesh that I found on the pavement um, and I am going to be creating more figures animals and eventually turn this into a little fairy Easter garden so now I'm going to make some little animals for my fairy garden and I have with me a skewer tip or a toothpick a little lolly stick and a paintbrush whose back is nice and rounded and I can use it for making marks if I want to. Keep my clay in plastic so that it doesn't get hard. I only need about that size. Keep it wrapped up because even a little few minutes of exposure to air can harden it keep it nice and tight and um, if, if I would do something I would start from the hole and move to the parts but for little children who are not yet able to work in that way I would give them a piece and say roll a ball they need roll a ball they love rolling balls and my ball isn't quite a ball and that's actually exactly the, the shape I want which is a slightly flattened ball or like a rugby or footy ball so you can just roll it a bit like that and that is your body or your bunny you just flatten it a bit so that it can stay still and then I take some of what's left and I make really a round ball and that's for the head and the way you successfully stick balls or pieces of clay to each other is you wet it. You make like a little muddy edge, uh, what we call slip in pottery, and you stick this little head on the top, not on the side. So it actually is the body is there and the head is on the top part of the body. So this is a real baby bunny. And you just wiggle it so that the slip wet part of the clay becomes mushy and sticky then I would take a piece of clay and say make a little worm so roll it in your palm of your hand maybe you need a worm about that size so try and see that it's all even put it down and then you can divide it and you've got two ears more or less the same size and the ears are simply flattened the shape is there already and again you put a little bit of water on the edge rub it a bit make its little slip and then with their beautiful little fingers they can easily manage this whereas I have big adult fingers same thing, mush it, mush the slip, make it muddy, make it muddy and then stick it on the back of the head, holding the front of the head so I don't push that off. Yeah, and then I can 
flatten the ears up, wet my fingers a little bit, make these ears lovely and shiny, and then I would bring a little point to the nose. So just squeezing it a little bit, I bring this face into a little nose. And last, before the eyes, I will make a little tail. And that's another beautiful round ball. I'll just wet it a bit because it's drying very quickly. Get it into the shape and then roll it around in my hands till I've got the little ball. Again, make one of the places muddy, slippery. Stick it on for a little tail. This is a real baby. And then the children can put eyes on. And a little nose, which is usually a little V. So you can do it that way and that way. In he goes.